Okay, it's time to talk about a competitive aldosterone receptor agonist. We're going to talk about spirolactone. Spirolactone, a diuretic which is potassium sparing. So let's take a look at this. A 47 year old male uh, with a history of hypertension heart failure presents to your office complaining of enlarged breasts. This is a male. He reports that his breasts have grown in size over the last two months and that he has become increasingly concerned and embarrassed by his this change. Physical examination is significant for the presence of gynecomastia. As you look through his chart, you notice that his blood pressure medication was changed about three months ago because uh, he was found to have a low serum potassium levels on routine uh, laboratory tests. So you need to uh, put him on a uh, potassium sparing diuretic. You believe that his new medication may be responsible for this patient's gynomastia uh, and you decide to change his antihypertensive uh, regimen once again. So you put him on spirolactone, spironolactone. Not spirolactone, spironolactone. So, similar drugs, other aldosterone receptor antagonists include eplorenone. The mechanism of action for spironolactone is it is a competitive aldosterone receptor antagonist, going the other way, that works at the cortical collecting tubule and late distal tubule of the nephron. By blocking the effects of aldosterone, salt and water retention is decreased, thereby leading to increased renal loss of salt and water. Since sodium is usually reabsorbed in exchange for potassium in the collecting tubule, urinary potassium excretion is decreased with the use of this drug. Clinical uses, hyperaldosteroidism, hyperaldosteroidism associated with adrenal tumors, heart failure, liver failure, and nephrotic syndrome, hypertension, and female Hirsutism. Side effects, hyperkalemia uh, and metabolic acidosis, uh, gynecomastia and GI upset. So you notice here it says hyperkalemia because it is potassium sparing. So uh, the main point here um, is what was said. Uh, it is uh, Urinary potassium excretion is decreased and it is a competitive aldosterone receptor antagonist. Other things that may be important um, uh, triamterine and amyloride are other potassium sparing diuretics that act by blocking sodium channels located on the distal cortical collecting tubule of the nephron, thereby blocking sodium and water reabsorption. They are used instead of spirolactone for diuresis, diuresis in patients who lack endogenous, endogenous aldosterone, for example, patients with Addison's disease. They are also used in combination with other medications in the treatment of hypertension. So this is a very interesting look at spironolactone, thanks to Lang Pharmacology Cards and Kindle. So. Uh, thank you very much, Spirit and Olectone.